Hello and good morning. We are the 7th of February. It's a, a bright morning, but a fresh one. I'm just gonna check that I'm live in the right place. See who's joining us this morning. Let's do a little refresh. Something's popped up on my screen. Why does that always happen? So, yep, first week into February already. And it's been quite a fresh one the last couple of days. Um, really fresh and crispy. Yesterday morning, not so much this morning. It, when I left the house at about quarter to eight to go and start my nanny duties, um, it was minus four. It was really chilly. There's a few of you on here already this morning. And I'm just wishing that I'd pop some hand cream on as well. My hands are feeling really dry. Good morning, Helen. How are you doing? I've popped a jumper on this morning just to keep me warm. Not that it's cold over here. It's it's never really cold over here anymore. So if anything, it gets a bit too warm. How are we doing? So yeah, super, super chilly here. I'm not even sure. I didn't even look what the temperature was first thing. Um, but the sun is trying to come out. Sky is clearing a little. My Velux down this end of the room is still a bit frozen over. So I can't see, see what's going on out there. But good morning, Lisa. How are you doing? How are we all? So this morning, I'm kind of sticking with a theme of sort of valentine -y colours. I'm a bit addicted to the Sweet Sorbet and Blushing Bride that I did. Do you remember I did the Owl Box a couple of weeks ago? Um, and I, I just thought with being a week away from Valentine, the projects that I'm doing, you could you could use them for sort of Galentine cards. My MacBook's frozen. Um, because it's nice to send, send, we don't have to send just Valentine cards to men. We can send them to our friends as well. So yeah, so I'm sticking on that theme. And originally I was trying to be really brave and I will show you when I've finished my projects, but. I was going with a completely different colour combo and I can't remember where it came from now. Try, oh yeah, I know where it came from, the, the, the product that I was trying to package. And when I finished them, I set them down on my desk and looked, and looked at them and thought, they are not me, I really don't like them. I use quite dark colours and I was like, I've got to redo them, but in another colour, which is really awful. I will share them with you because some of you will probably like them and enjoy the colours, but they were just not for me. Good morning, Rianne. I hope I'm reading that right because my eyesight at this distance with these glasses on on my Mac is not the best. So definite frog in the throat today. Um, <clears throat> so good morning, Lucianne. How are you doing? A bit sniffy as well and I've realised I've left my drinks bottle over in the house so let's hope we don't have like a little coughing fit happening or I'll be running downstairs for a glass of water so how are we all doing right let us get on to work because I've got I think Sophie might be coming a bit later um, she's having some building work done inside the house and outside of the house so she's trying to make herself scarce um, without having to marine herself upstairs. So with the dog and uh, a baby. So yeah, she might be popping, popping over. So I want to get as much done as I can this morning. Okay, excuse the palm of the hand. Bear with me as I set you down. Move everything around. <clears throat> Clear the throat. See if we can zoom a little bit. Get some light on the subject. Okay, so I did tell you that I was ordering... Oh, my grid paper's looking pretty good. Might just move it over a little bit so we've got more grid than anything else. Um, I've had this a little while now, ordered it, and then stupidly didn't order the dies because I wanted something else. wanted to spend my money on something else, basically, and thought, I can wait for the dies. And then after using the stamps, I realised that I was stupid. I could have saved myself 10% and that really I needed the dies. So I ordered them. And you know what I've done as well? I've got another lovely order arriving today. I've only gone and ordered them twice. 
<laughs> because I thought I hadn't ordered them. It's like, yeah, pop them in my basket, order them. And when I checked a couple of days ago what was coming, I was like, Kerry, really? But there we go. I will have to do an exchange unless there is anybody else local that is needing the dies. So they are called the Love For You dies, I believe. Where's my catalogue? <clears throat> it's from the Country Floral Suite. Country Floral Lane Suite. It's beautiful. These colours are just so inspiring. Um, you know I love the papers. I'm using a little smidge of the papers. I've shown you those quite a bit. But this is, so there are two bundles within this suite, but this is the one that I'm using. Um, and it's called, yeah, dies are called Love For You. So same as the stamp set, which is good. Trying to help with the confusion of, um, of what things are called. I'm also pulling in, I think I'm gonna pull this in and use this. Um, it's called Sending Support. It's a celebration freebie. We are more than halfway through celebration, so there is still time for you to grab yourself some free products in here. But it's a 45, free with a 45 pound spend, and it's on page nine. It's got some really great sentiments in here. Um, just to send people that you're thinking of that might just need a little hug in the post. It's a really good set, one that you will hang on to forever um, and come back to. I may use something from here, I'm not sure yet. I, I did on one of my projects, but I'm not sure whether I will, but kind and sincere, another product from the new mini catalog. Let's put my dies. I've run out of white magnet sheets. And I need to go and get some more, although I think I might have some retired dies. I could move off of some. But these are the dies that go with it. You have a die that cuts out. Let's just show you. It cuts out the for you like that, which is what I am going to be doing today. You've also got like a shadow outline. Um, you've got one that cuts out so much love. But then you've also got these, which I adore. Just the very, oops, dropsies. Is it a dropsy kind of day? A very thin, fine line wordage, which I think I've got something to show you on that as well. So, but I'm not actually using that. So I'm going to put those to one side. I find it so much easier working with my magnet sheet. So this is a photopolymer set, which I love. Um, here's my colour combo. So we have Blushing Bride, Sweet Sorbet, Soft Sea Foam, Old Olive, and I've thrown in a bit of grey granite today. So that is our colour combo. Let's move that out of the way. What, what have we all been up to? We've had another weekend. Talk to me. Tell me what you've been doing. So let us... Moved everything out of reach this morning. Let's grab some bits and pieces. Got a card and a packaging idea for you today. Just move those back a little bit. And I just, as you will tell from what I've been doing lately, I just adore this colour combination. Um, the Sweet Sorbet with the Blushing Bride is really really nice together okay the papers i have shared this with you before um let's just get out my i always keep in a bag with all the bits and pieces and i do have plastic um storage that that my dsp goes into but dare i say let me have a quick count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen I have fit, this one's got old retired in it. I have 13 of these boxes labelled. These are plastic. They're all full. So I have no room to put any of my recent papers in. And I'll just say those those storage boxes, um, they fit inside the Calax, so they're perfect. That's why I label them on the spine. Um so that I can see what's in there but yeah a lot of them have got retired stuff in and and I've kind of got packets of DSP 
just stood up against them because, yeah, I've run out of room. I need to have a sort out. I've got so much retired stuff I need to find homes for. But this paper, um, I showed you this last time, it has got petal pink in it. But this sheet here is definitely not... If I show you the petal pink piece... Good morning, Helen. How are you doing? That's petal pink. And to me, that's just a bit of a clash on this sheet. So I feel blushing bright works much better with this this piece that I'm using because I'm going to be using this this stripey one because I love it um let's have a look oh no I just that scrolled and lost scent you're waiting in minor injuries with husband hubby nothing too major thankfully Helen I hope he's doing okay keep in touch and let us know Claire, you're just checking and you're not working, are you, Claire? <laughs> we won't tell anybody, will we? You're in safe hands here. Or you could be on a coffee break, I guess. So, yeah. Um, by the way, yeah, lovely Dobbies made it over there with um, Jay and Sophie. We came on a Sunday, I want to say. Did we come on a Sunday? lunch afternoon oh, i can't remember not last weekend weekend before um yeah little moochie around waitrose and then we ended up in that expensive furniture shop just across the road and yeah let's just say i saw the nicest sofa in there <laughs> and mentally spent a few thousand pounds i haven't ordered it yet but i i feel now i go i need to go back to loaf have a look at the original sofa that I liked and make a decision between the two. So, Helen, he's going to survive. That is good to hear. So, right. So, yeah, colours. I was talking Blushing Bride and Sweet Sorbet. They go lovely together. So, I'm going to start. There's nothing kind of like rocket science happening with my projects this morning. It's There's nothing difficult. It's quite straightforward. It's just a really simple card, but I just got some packaging um that will go with it thanks for that Alfie hair I was just giving him cuddles before I came onto the live and as I've got a jumper on today I expect I got a bit of static and picked up some of his fluff right if you've got fur babies you know where I'm coming from it's kind of inevitable and we've talked about this before he doesn't molt massively but they do get into the air don't they Right, base of my card is five and three quarters by eight and a quarter. And this is just basic white. It's not the thick because I layer up my card so much. I don't necessarily feel the need to use a thick base. Then I have got a piece of sweet sorbet. Now, this this is very much like a watermelony colour color in my eyes. Um... Real red is obviously a lot deeper red and, and it's quite bright, but I really do love it. It is a bright colour for me, but I really do love it. This layer measures three and three quarters by five and three eighths. And then we've got um, a layering piece over the top. It's got a little bit of glue on it, which measures three and five eighths by five and a quarter. OK, so it's just an eighth shorter on each edge which gives us just a really skinny border and I quite like I quite like having that <clears throat> excuse me right what should we do first let's do a bit of stamping so I've mounted up you know that this we've talked about this this is a two-step stamp but I like to use it as a one-step um I am probably going, I think I'm going to do a bit of two-step with the leafs, leaf, leafs, leafage, um, but I'm going to stick with my one step on here. So we've got the larger and the smaller flowers. Let's find a little scrap. I haven't got anything ready. Um, that will do. Let's chop the ends off of that obviously creating something with score lines and it didn't work out because that happens when you're designing I'm always designing boxes and things um, 
um, that, you know, we have to practice, don't we? We have these pieces that are left over and I never just throw them away if they're scored layers because you can stamp in between the score lines. Right, we're going to start with the large flower. I'm going to ink it in the sweet sorbet and just stamp it down. So I've been using this stamp and fussy cutting them out. Um, but now I have the dies, it is much easier. Oh, that's stiff. And then Blushing Bride, one of my all time favorite colors, just because it's, it's a very me color. I'm gonna have a couple of those. I think I've re-inked that as well, so it does look, look darkish. Move those to one side for the moment see if anyone else is popping in good evening Kim how are you doing nice to have you join us so we're just stamping um starting on our card I'm using the love for you bundle today so it's from the mini catalog so what I like to do with the centers of these is stamp in the opposite color so we've got let's just show you in the box You've got this little splodge here, which works for both sizes of flower. Okay, so I'm going to ink it up. Let's start lighter and then go with darker. Good morning, Belle, my lovely. Yeah, very frosty morning, isn't it? How are you doing? I was just starting to catch up. Just started watching you, Belle, from yesterday. I was, I was, um, had Nana duty most of the day yesterday, so I didn't get to catch you live. I've just given that little clean off. And then I'm gonna go in the, in the sweet sorbet and do the opposite color in the center of these. So yeah, I will catch up with you after, but glad to see you back on your live. Okay, so we've just got our three flowers stamped. Um, we could have a little play with the, the two-step stamping if you want to. Let's just grab a block and just see what it looks like on the small one. And there's different ways of doing this. I haven't never actually inked up this one, I don't think. Grab another scrap and so if we do, we stamp the solid one off and then stamp it down. It's very pale and then take the two step part of it and go over the top. Oh, I think I'd be tempted to try that the other way around. So let's try it the other way around. Let's do that bit first. Belle, yesterday was a bit of a dog's dinner, to be honest. Oh, bless your heart. Really not not ready, but in, in but needed to get back on it. Yeah, of course. And I totally understand that. I was only about 10 minutes in. So, yeah, I had a little moment with you as well, should we just say. Right, can you see now that I can actually see through? And that worked out a lot better. So we just get the two step that way. Let's put the center in and then it will give us, if I hold my finger off, you can actually see a bit more perspective. If we were to cut that out, which I might do just so that we can see what it looks like. But of course you could do um, much darker in the center. We could do Blushing Bride solid and then infill with, with the Sweet Sorbet so it's much darker. But that's just how the two step part of it works. Right, we also need some leaves and I've mounted up this one. There's lots of chat going on, let's have a look. Um, Helen, your husband tripped and he's hurt his leg on Saturday. 
refused initially to get seen. Yeah, that's a bit of a man thing, isn't it, with doctors? They, they're kind of like, I'm okay, it will be fine. And then they, they just moan, don't they? They just grumble about it, but... Hello, Rose, how are you doing? Lovely to have you join us. Yeah, it's a really nice set. I did kind of, like I said, I put off on the... I did a U-Bell. I put off on the dies and then realised that... I needed them but I liked the different greetings and I love a long greeting that you can kind of chop up and move about so that was you know one thing that drew me to this but also the, the lovely flowers and the leaves in here um, I'm just going to stamp a couple of leaves like that and then let's do a two-step on this one I'm going to pull in old olive and we've got like the the two step part of this. Let's do this on one of these. I'm trying to hold this so that as much light comes in as possible. And again, I might need to do this the other way around. That's not too bad. But if we start with the darker first and then go over with the light. Can you see we can see directly through? what we're doing like that so we can line it in a bit better right let's chop off what we need ready for cutting rose you are good that's good to hear yeah let's hope like bell says helen that there's nothing you know no hidden injuries because that's the problem isn't it we think we're okay, but then actually there is something going on. And if, you know, when you have a sprain or anything like that, it's so much more worse than a break, isn't it? It just takes forever. This muscle in my leg that I have a problem with, it's giving me major grief at the minute. So not the best. Right, that little script strip isn't going to be big enough. <coughs> Excuse me. Definite dodgy throat. That might be better. Okay, so I'm going to stamp the word for you. Um, and another thing to mention with this set, I think people will look at this and see that gushy, so much love. But look, look beyond things like that. Okay? Look beyond and use parts of that um team it with other things so i'm trying to look quickly at what we could team it with um you know we could have thanks so much for everything you know look beyond don't just look at what you've got look beyond right i've got all these ink pads open now that's dangerous dangerous I'm just opening up the gray gray granite I'm gonna ink up the for you stamp that on there I just love love a font like this and I think that's most of the stamping let's just chop that off ready for cutting <clears throat> So what have we all been up to? What have we been doing? I'm trying to think what we've been doing. It's quite a busy weekend. Um, what did we do Saturday? I worked a little bit on Saturday morning. Um, where did we go? See, this is what happens to my brain. It kind of departs from me <laughs> occasionally. <laughs> more than occasionally it's kind of it just doesn't engage um we went to waitrose we did a food shop on saturday went to waitrose which waitrose did we go to oh cheltenham went into town we didn't go into town we did outskirts of town um went to waitrose came home oh yeah tried out bought them Bought a refill of the our favourite balsamic vinegar and had really unhealthy 
dipping oil as starters before before I made dinner. So yeah, we cooked a nice chicken, bought a lovely chicken in Waitrose and cooked it and had some hot warm bread with it. So very unhealthy night. What else am I looking at? Let's, I think I've got one more bit of stamping I'm going to do, or maybe two bits, and but I may not use it. So from the celebration set, I've inked up here for you always. Yeah, our Saturday kind of came and went. Like I said, I did a bit of work over here in the morning. Jason did a bit of work out in the garden, um, raking and tidying up some leaves. I want a skinny strip. Quite a skinny strip, that one might work well. Um, could be a challenge lining this in on, because it's red rubber. Uh, but we'll try and just to mention as well i had to chuckle at myself this is like where i am at at the minute um i mounted all these stamps up and then when i put the sticker on this one i stamped it down and then realized that the sticker is on upside down so yeah i have to remember that before before i stamp that down on anything so, Kim, you went to the movies and saw Emily. It was about the author of Wuthering Heights. Oh, how interesting. A really good movie. Enjoyed it. Haven't been to the cinema for ages. Ages and ages. Don't, I wouldn't even know what was on at the cinema at the moment. <clears throat> so, we keep saying we need to have a movie night. Um, hasn't quite happened oh I'll tell you what we did do Saturday though Jason emptied while I was over here working he emptied out the hot tub um to put some fresh water in it so we've had it turned down for the last month really low just so it doesn't freeze over um haven't put any chemicals in it and we don't use strong chemicals we use something called bromine so it's not really harsh on your skin um so and the chemicals wear out pretty quickly and we can test to see how many chemicals are in there but there were no chemicals in there so we drained it out we i say we the royal we jason drained it out cleaned it all out and then refilled it back up and put the heater back up on it yeah we were having a bit of a debate about what it actually costs to run the hot tub and we haven't used it as much this winter to what we normally do um and we both got aches and pains so jason's like right i'm gonna refill it get it all freshened up um we need to start getting in there with these crisp nights coming back we need to get in there and cause it does really help if you've got a bad back or a bad neck um it is like it is a proper hot tub it's a jacuzzi it's made by jacuzzi but the jets on it it's like having a full body massage it is lovely um, so we got in there on Saturday night for the first time and I can tell you walking outside in my swimmers with my robe on, I wear a thin robe out to the hot tub. It was freezing. It was in the minus. Um, but as soon as I got in the water, I was fine and getting out can be a little bit dodgy when it's windy. It's okay when it's not windy. Um, but it is the best time to get in when it's cold and frosty. So we did that on Saturday night as well. So that was quite a nice, we had quite a nice evening. Right, I'm gonna ink up the here for you. Here for you always and see if I can get it on here. It's kind of mounted where it is on the stamp, on the sticker, because it does depend where you put your sticker on or how straight you put your sticker on. It's not bang in the middle, but I'm going to leave it at that because that will do fine. So I might need that in a minute. I may not use it. We'll see. Let's do a bit of die cutting. Let's bring in some plates. I haven't changed this bottom plate yet. I need to order some more plates because this is now getting beyond. Um, it's not beyond use, but it's getting really rough. I could start using that side, but then we get a, a bit of a wibble wobble. It could do with a good clean as well. This is just adhesive that comes off of like the washi tape that gets stuck everywhere. 
It could do with a bit of a clean, couldn't it? So what am I looking for? Dice, top plate, and we need some washi tape. So let's lay on these flowers and leaves. Grab some washi tape and stick them down. Helen, you might have to move in. <laughs> You're welcome anytime, my lovely. I'll be getting another bedroom back soon when Sophie moves um, moves her office back home. So her garden room should be completed, hopefully by the end of the week. Um, if all goes well. So, but she's just in a bit of a pickle at the minute because they've knocked through from their living room to their kitchen to go open plan and yeah they're just in a bit of a pickle having some doing a bit of maneuvering in the kitchen and breakfast bar and things like that so and they've got builders in plastering and goodness knows what and then builders out they're plastering and building so yeah pretty busy um but yeah she'll be moving out of of her office so we'll be moving a bed back in there. But yeah, always welcome. We need to organise that girly weekend, don't we? For sure. Just trying to fit it in at the minute. Right, I'm going to pop all of those in and run those through. Nothing should move. we could all do with it as well a little proper catch up let's pull these off i'm going to do another one of those look how lovely that cut perfect sounds like there's a tractor about to go by yeah so i've got um all an order arriving today some more new goodies in, hopefully, if I've got the right order. If I'm thinking right with the right order that's coming. Um, yeah, so that was Saturday, kind of came and went, as it does. The, the weekend come and go, don't they? And the weeks just seem to fly by at the moment. So, I uh, don't need you... On Sunday, we had a lovely trip over to Newbury and I met my lovely friend and her husband, lovely friend Amanda from Stampin' Up and her husband and we had a lovely lunch together and we walked and we talked, then we had coffee and cake, so we had a really lovely meet up. I think that's, oh, I need to do something else, I'll do that after. So yeah, it was just nice to get out and do something. It was chilly out, but it was a bit like today. It was fresh but bright. I think the farmer's in the field. Don't think that was going past. So can you see there the two step? Hello, Zanna, how are you doing? I know, time just flies, doesn't it? The week's just come and go I think it's because we're like trying to cram everything in so but yeah it's it's just the way it is isn't it busy busy good busy though right so we've got all of our bits and pieces we need another I've already die cut We have somebody joining all the way from Sri Lanka. Sharoma, is that how I pronounce your name? Please correct me if I'm wrong. I am looking from a distance and my, my eyes are not the best. All is good with you, Zana. That is great to know. Good, good. So I've used my trusty cracker die. It is never, it's never far from me, this one. Okay, I'm always pulling to it for these elements as well. But how cute would these be for your little Valentine treats as well? Okay, my pronunciation was good. Well, thank you for joining us. It's lovely to have you here. All the way from Sri Lanka. I need to die cut out. Oh, I can't 
can't pick anything up. I did a really awful job of painting my nails in a rush. Um, I am going to take them off and redo them. But I can't pick, seem to pick anything up at the moment. So I need to just cut from the Something Fancy. Another one that you're seeing me use all the time at the moment. I'm going to use this label here and just cut myself one of those out. I'm going to use a scrap. See, I've already used it. Scrap piece of paper over the top. We'll just tape that on. Blow off any bits that are on there. And then just run it through like that with my top plate. And that piece of paper will protect all that grubbiness and adhesive transferring onto my nice white embossed label. So always have a scrap piece handy especially when your plates get as well used as mine. I think what I might do is get a brand new plate for on here, but for my purposes, I might just use that smooth side um, just to get my full use out of it. Put that die back. Put that die back. And then we've got our lovely, lovely white label. Right, let's start putting this together. So first of all, that washi back over there we know where it is we're going to mount up these two layers that I gave you the measurements for earlier so we did we made it into the hot tub again last night I think it was it Sunday night we did a hot tub or Saturday I can't remember anyway as I say, one ro one day rolls into another. Yeah, I had a nana day yesterday, so I did the school run, which I love doing the school run. I dropped Vivi at school and then Evsy goes to nursery on a Monday morning. And then it was just Teddy and I for a couple of hours. I'm just going to lay this down onto my base. Um... Nice even border around the edge. Yeah, and then we pick up FC at 12. So, got a couple of orders delivered as well yesterday, which was good on my route. Right, I've got a piece of Blushing Bride. Where is Country Guys? Uh, I don't understand what you mean, Sharoma. What do you mean? Has somebody else said anything? Good morning, Kerry. How are you doing? Sorry, scrolling through, hoping that I haven't missed anybody. Just not sure what you mean by that comment. Just type it again. Oh, I was measuring that I wasn't sticking I was measuring it for you so I've got a piece of blushing bride which measures two and five eighths by three and three quarters and we're just going to pop that one down over on the left left hand side I've got glue on me then centrally top to bottom but over to the left hand side just a little gap over there Kerry, you are good. Excellent. It's all good to know that we are all good. Right. I'm hoping in my order that my mini dimensionals have arrived because I do like these, but I love the minis more. I'm going to be honest with you. And that's just personal preference. I just like the minis. Who's with me on that? Who loves the mini dimensionals? Just sort of got addicted to them. I end up just chopping these into smaller pieces. <laughs> right, let's just pop this one down to start with. Yeah, I don't know what that tractor is doing in the field. He's going up and down. And then we're gonna pop Pop that one just down at the bottom, like that. OK, 
Okay, so I've got some strips of cardstock. I've got a strip of, I've lost a piece as well. What have I done with that? Are we going to have another mystery where something just goes missing? <laughs> because I am not seeing it. This happened the other week and it's still here on my desk. Do you remember I lost this and couldn't find it? <laughs> now I've lost my long bit of the cracker die that I had in Blushing Bright. And I'm having a good look around. It's not on the floor. It's not stuck to my sleeves. What have I done with it? I'm going to have to cut another. Unless I've got one in my basket. I'm sure that I cut one. Am I going crazy? I am sure that I cut one because I talked to you about it. And now I've no idea where it's gone. Anyway, we'll have to cut another. Um, let's have a look in my little pot and see if I've got one. No, only a short one. And I don't think... That will do. Let's grab another bit. Well, that's a bit of a mystery. <clears throat> Very strange. Is it stuck to the bottom of my... Aha! <laughs> Found it. It had stuck. I picked it up with the static when I moved that. It's there. I'm not cracking up. Well, I think I am. That's a lie. Um, Belle, you're hoping my minis arrive. I know. I can't go. I can't do without them. It's really not good. And I did have some, obviously, and I, I let customers have them and then didn't leave enough for myself. So I'm just going to edge up this lovely scallopy border onto a little strip of old olive. Looks like it's about half an inch. by two and three quarters, okay? Half an inch by two and three quarters. Gail, you like the minis? Yeah, if you if you are a bit, if you struggle a bit with your, you know, picking small things up, if, you, if you've got, what's the word? What's the word when you struggle with picking things up? Anyway, yeah, they could be harder work for you, but I love that the backs just come off. Even on these, the backs just come off so easily. So even though the minis are smaller, I don't find them any harder to work with. So, um, sorry, missing some of the comments. Hi, Ellie, how are you doing? Yeah, it is lovely. It's sunny and frosty, isn't it? You're just back from your run. Lisa, you only buy mini dimensionals. And Helen, you'd rather chop a big one than use the small ones. Oh, I just love how we're all different, aren't we? We all like to do things differently. Right, so that piece is going to go on here. I need a piece of this. Sharomi, you've got a birthday coming up next month. Well, congratulations ahead for that. Belle, you're trying to keep Molly from going upstairs. Oh, no, V's po tested positive as well. Oh, bless you. Oh, goodness. Bless you all. How are they, f how are they feeling with it? Belle, are they rough? Oh, it pants, isn't it? There's so much going around. I mean, I've definitely got the sniffles and... Um, a bit of a tickly cough. It's just all doing the rounds, isn't it? The children have all been sniffly. Baby Luca, I mean, we call him Baby Luca. He's, he's four months old. Oh, that's a bit crooked on the end. Let's trim that. Call him Baby Luca, I think, because, like, FC calls him Baby Luca. And you know how things just stick. He is a baby. Um, but he was he, he's had some kind of bron bronchitis. Oh bron can't think of the exact word. Some little virus, bless him, but he's on he's on the mend. 
it's something quite common in young babies but yeah he's had a bit of a cough but he's he's sort of been fine through it he's still been feeding well and stuff like that just not sleeping as well as he was so there is just so much going around yeah you're playing it down with her bell the anxiety starts to become another factor she's never had a jab bless her heart yeah that is it's just kind of not making a big thing of things isn't it sending hugs right so we've now got a boulder on here finally what even is the time quarter past ten sometimes i feel like i just well i don't feel like i do i know i talk a lot i waffle but i know a lot of you enjoy my chat because you tell me you enjoy coming on for the company and I love being on here as well and sharing my creativity with you all. And I'm thankful that I have amazing pro products to create with. Oh, and uh, one or two little catalogues as well. So everything I need. Right, just giving those flowers a bit of life. I will cut that one out in a minute so we can see what it looks like. Pop that back in my box. I've got that strip left that I'm going to be using. Um, let's start putting these down. I'm going to start with the For You and build up from there. I'm going to do a bit of chopping. Oh, I've got a couple of bits. That's a very endy bit. Let's just chop, not my fingers. Let's just chop a strip in half like that. And we'll pop one behind. Put a big one behind there, probably just. Yeah. like that so just layering those up so we are now at double height you know i'm not scared of adding dimension to my cards um but let's just pull that back see how easily that comes off and we'll just pop that up there so we're just gonna have for you on our card like that And then we'll build in with some flowers. Might put some half ones behind these smaller flowers. So I feel like we had a busy weekend. I feel like we didn't do an awful great lot, even though we did go out visiting and meeting with friends, but how do I want that flower? Let's just pop it there and then we'll build up with the others. But yeah, it's like it is. The weekend just comes and goes. But before we know it, it will be back again. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping too, Helen, as well, that they're both back, back and feeling brighter very, very soon. Pop one down there. A little bit lower and then we'll just add in the leaves so I've got coming up this week a couple of classes Thursday morning Thursday afternoon Saturday we're off to we've got Jason's annual dinner awards for his racing for his one one class of racing because he races with two different cars two different classes so um that's at northampton northampton i think so we've got doggy sitter sorted which is always a challenge um and we're staying over in a hotel with a spa 
We're going to go shopping. So that'll be exciting. Something to look forward to at the weekend. So, right, I originally did this card and I left it like that and I thought I was going to add in some bling. And I've got these red rhinestones that would work lovely with this and I'm tempted just to put, put a couple in and not put in the greeting because I left my original like this and then added on this but I think I'm just going to leave it at that and I'll show you my original so you're always willing volunteers for Alfie sitting oh well might have to take you up on that you could always like move in for a weekend helen you could come and stay for the whole weekend you could utilize the hot tub while you're here and then dog sit that sounds like a plan <laughs> which you know we've had had happen before come and stay so let's just pop a couple of these in are these the right ones i want to use let's have a look what else is in my pot I've got those, but I feel like they're slightly different colour. How lovely are they? The opaque adhesive back gems. Should I just stick with silver, which would then go with the grey granite? I've got those cute little silver ones from the festive pearls. Oh. Just rhinestones. Who knows what to use? Let's have a look. Those or silver. I don't want to go gold because what I'm doing next has got a bit of silver on it. Let's just lay down a couple of these and see what they look like. Um, let's put one up there. One down there. Is that too much? Just to lift it a little, maybe. Can I lift you up? Or am I going to leave the glue? I think that looks quite sweet. Let's leave it at that. Because you know me, I will deliberate forever and ever. Lisa, you think I should go silver? I could always pop a bit of silver on my original. Let's pull that one out. So this is my original so I kept kept it without bling and I might put a little bit of bling on here now but I used that here for you always but I chopped it so I, I used the here and then I used this for you and then just put the always on there like that so that was using the uh, the sending support <coughs> um you're all loving it that's lovely thank you you're dreaming about the hot tub <laughs> bless you uh it was flipping hot last night when i got in as well um i said to jason it's too hot you've got to turn it down because it kind of makes you boil from the inside um just get a bit warm and then you start getting a bit lightheaded and then when you, you come in, like we quite often we'll have a drink of water when we come in. But we, I think we've got it set at 36 degrees, which is not super hot. Apparently, some people suggest that you set it at 40 degrees. Now, that would be just too hot. You know, when I like it to get in, I like it to feel warm, obviously, um, but not be too hot. Because it just makes you feel slightly sick. Um, but yeah, we were having a bit of a chat about how how much it costs to run the hot tub that's an interesting little conversation 
Um, might have a couple left on there we could use. So Jason turned it down. We normally have it at 36 degrees, but if we're not using it in the summer, it gets turned down low. Um, still obviously putting chemicals in it to keep it clean, but we turned it right down. And then he turned it down, I think, in December, but turned it back up for Christmas because we thought we'd probably be getting in. Um, and then the the electric bill was £60 less in January than it was in December when we turned it down. Now, they do say that a hot tub generally costs a pound a day to run, which, yeah, we could we can relate to that. I'm sure, you know, our, our electric used to go up. But now with electric prices, like jumping so much... Um, I, I, we had, you know, we're feeling that it's like doubled. So like normally it would probably cost £30 to, to run it. Jason thinks it will be more than double to run it now. So he said between like 80 and £100, which I think is quite ridiculous. So it will be getting turned down once we're, we know that we're not using it because that's a lot of money to keep that water heating up all day. So while it's on we will be getting the use you know while the heating is up high on it we will be getting most of the use to 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 justify spending that kind of money which is a bit crazy isn't it in this current climate now i'm thinking i'm just going to pop a little bit of silver on here and i was going to put just a couple down here but now i feel the where's the balance going to be um let's try that one a medium or oh, maybe not let's try a small there large and a small and see i struggle with things like this this is where i like to faff kind of want a triangle put one there and we'll try with one there how does that look still cheaper than the massage yes i guess so helen and believe me it is like having a body massage it's rough it's quite rough in there if you put all of the vents on it can be yeah quite rough great though if you've got some problems so Two cards, very similar, but do you know what? I think, Lisa, you were right. I like the silver. Although you said you liked it once they were down. I think I do like the silver on here. Not sure about placement, but quite like those. So, Jill, you've got to go off for a dog, W-A-L-K, -K, with a friend. Enjoy. You'll catch up on the replay. It's looking gorgeous. Thank you so much, my lovely. That's so kind to say. I think colours always help. They're bright and fresh, aren't they? Right, I'm going to move on to the next project because time will slip away. And I always need my coffee at 11. Let's grab some bits. And I've got loads of other things to show you as well. Right, I've got some pieces done ready for this just to speed things up a little. So I've got a label that I've cut from the Something Fancy. I've got my lovely trimmed off scallop edge from the Cracker Dies. I've got some flowers that I did earlier, so you don't have to watch me doing that. I've got a for you and I've got some leaves. Now I've got that leftover piece from earlier that I will be using. And I've got two pieces of cardstock. <laughs> I'm looking at them and thinking what are these called yes it's cardstock okay right i have this do you remember i, I think i showed you this last week um and do you know what i've noticed today look at the date on it best before the end of january 23 that means i need to drink this now i won't be drinking it today um especially not with you this morning i'm not a big drinker as it is but yeah 
half past 10 in the morning is, would not be gin time for me. But I might save this for the weekend, maybe take it away in the hotel and have it in the hotel room because it needs to be used. But how pretty are these um, bottles? I, I gave a load of these to the ladies in my retreat last October, but they, we had different kind of labels on. It was a different one, it wasn't the rose. But I just thought this went perfectly with my colours so that I would create something with it. So I've pulled out my best, very best trio punch. And all I'm gonna do, I've got two pieces here, both the same size, and they measure two and three quarters by three and three quarters. Of course, you can adjust that size, but I want to use this straight edge here. So I'm going to lay it on and the way you use this punch is to press the whole of the top down. We're not just pressing down one corner, we're putting pressure all the way on the top and pressing the whole thing down. And then you can see it's taken off our edges. I'm going to do that again. So we do one edge, we flip it over and we do the other. Okay, I will show you what's on the other corner. You've seen me use it, but just how pretty this punch is. Okay, and then we have the little ribbon slot there. So we want to do the little ribbon slot on here. So you can either find the middle on here. If I show you, where's my pencil? If you're not sure that you're gonna line this up in the middle, roughly guess where the middle is. So I would say about, whoops, if we had a bit of um, lead coming out there, it would be very helpful. And you could use it upside down. It's, a, it's quite hard to use it upside down, but can you just see that dot in there? And I've got it flat in, and then I know that I'm punching it directly in the middle. Or if you've got a good eye, you can pop it in, make sure it's flush, and then you're looking either side here for an even overhang, which where I'm filming from is very difficult to see. But I think if it's somewhere in the middle, that's good enough for me. And we're gonna lay these two together and what we need to do first, so I'm basically making a tag for this bottle. It's gonna hang. And I've got some of the red ribbon. Now this was in the July to December mini catalog. And it's as in a, in a set with the garden green. And I'm pretty sure it's, it's carried over. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it has. So it's real red, but it does kind of blend. Okay, and I'm getting to the end of this roll. So I'm just gonna pull that off for now. And what I wanna do is, I'm not sure how much I need. From memory, I'm just gonna cut, cut it at 15 inches because I think 14 or 15 inches is plenty. I'm gonna fold it over my two edges let's cut the edges the same way for now and then it will feed feed through more easily so I'm going to lay those two together I am going to move out of the way some ink pads and I'm going to just feed that through both I can't see what I'm doing both holes in the tag and just pull it, okay? So that I have this little loop through here. And then I'm just gonna pull them both through. Now, how did I do that before? One goes on the bottom and one goes on the top like that. Let's just twist that so that they're flat. 
Can you see? And we'll have it going that way like that. So we've got like a loop going through with the tails hanging through. And we're gonna pop that over our bottle. Can you see what I'm doing? And I'm just gonna pull that up so it's quite tight on there like that. Okay, might have to loosen that a bit. I'm just grabbing some glue dots. Just gonna pull a couple off to make it easier for me to use them. And I need to be able to make sure I can take this on and off, which we can. So let's just take that off and lay that down. And I want my ribbon tails to kind of come straight down like that. But I want to just secure this ribbon in place. So I'm just gonna pick up a couple of glue dots. I'm gonna hold here, and just lift that back. And press that down and then I need to put another one under there to hold that oops a second piece of ribbon in place and I hope that I didn't move it and then I want both of these tails to kind of come down directly like that and then what we can do is just snip off these tails because they're uber long. I might need to make them shorter and at a better angle. Okay, so we now have a little looping tag that sits and hangs over our bottle. So a really easy way of decorating a little gift. We've all gone quiet. Have you all ran off? <laughs> right, let's stick these layers together. So we've got a piece of, we need to cut this one down. So it's just, just shorter than the width of the tag. So we'll just snip a bit off of that end. Straight would be good. And make a little um, angle at that end, the brain. And then we'll add some Tombow on here and just layer these two together. So that we've got a little board. I'm going to trim off some bits at the bottom. So it's going to be slightly shorter each end. I'm just going to go under there, snip off that end, and then snip off that one. I'm just going to round that little bit better. So we have that lovely little border on there, bit of glue on there. Helen, you're obsessed with the trio punch. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? It is really great. It was, Belle made me buy it because <laughs> she brought it to a team gathering. And then I was like, oh my gosh, this punch, I've just got to have it. It's just great. I've made loads of different things with it. Um, oh, when I first had it, I just, I could not put it down. And this is what happens. I get something new and I can't put it down. I'm totally obsessed with it. And then something else good comes along. I mean, it's just like constant. I have loads of lovely stuff coming my way. Um, very thankful for that. Ellie, you're shivering in your cabin. The heat is on, but it's only three degrees. Oh, my goodness. And you've got birthday cards you need to do for mother-in-law and your brother-in-law. Oh, my gosh. Go back to the house, put some thermals on and layer up. It's only, I say only, it's 18.3 in here, but... It's not cold in the slightest. Um, and if I popped, just turned a radiator up, I try to keep it happy medium over here. I don't want to overuse energy for for little old me being in here, but 
I can just touch a button on a radiator and it will instantly warm up really quickly in here. So I'm very lucky. But yeah, I do layer up sometimes. Belle, you're wishing I bought this paper and you missed it off your paper share. What were you thinking? Yes, my lovely. What were you thinking? It's gorgeous. I've got some other things to show you as well using this. So don't run away too quickly. Yeah, you love to enable us all. You do. But I love that because we miss things and then we see things in a different light. So this is where I get stuck with these dimensionals because I feel they're just too big for what I want. So let's just put down some half bits. Put one in the middle. And chop another. So it's all about inspiring each other, isn't it? That's why I'm here. I'm here to share my love of the product. Okay, I'm a business. Yeah, I would like you to buy the product, of course. Um, but I'm here to inspire you. Use what you've got as well. You know, recreate using what you've got. I'm just looking like, is this the right place? I think it is. So we're going to pop that one down there. I haven't stuck these two tags together yet. I'll do that in a minute. Next, we'll pop over this layer. And just have that going down near the bottom. As straight as straight can be. Need a couple more dimensionals. Oh dear, I've got a, a messy pickle here. Stuff everywhere. It's payback for Kerry always being an enabler. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I know, I know. And I do the same. I I see other people doing something and I'm like, thought I didn't need that. But maybe I do. Right, let's pop a couple of dimensionals behind here. Yeah, We can be easily drawn in. The thing is, we know how good these products are don't we that is the thing and you know we're drawn to the coordination of how things work together and when we see things being used together we kind of just we want it all you and you do not have to have it all I'm not going to put those on yet actually put words on first you do not have to have it all you can you know mix and match if something new comes out, yeah, go for it. But mix and match it with what you've already got, maybe. You've got to use what you've got. Right, we're going to pop dimensionals. See, like, I just end up chopping them up all the time. Um, I need a bit of a dimensional, a bit of one. And I want that just on there. We'll pop, oop, are you down there? Gonna pop a little bit of Tombow on the one side of the four. Come on, wakey, wakey, gone to sleep. And then we're going to hang the other half of it off, which is why I put a dimensional on half of it. Let's pop that one there and then we'll just pop the flowers in, in between and fill the gaps. Wedge them in behind, doesn't matter where they go. Fill up the holes. If you were in Australia, you would buy from me. Thank you, Kim. That's such a sweet comment. Thank you, my lovely. Um, let's pop you there. See if we can lift that up. I know I've just glued it, but... Ooh. 
need it to go under that flower and then we'll just pop a bit of foliage in it is looking a little bit busy i need to get the wet wipe on there do you work like this do you like wedge in let's just get a wet wipe on there it's just dried up a bit and then it becomes difficult to use if it dries up do you just wedge in your foliage as and when, when you're building up an image like this? I quite often put, put foliage in and then pull it back out if I think it's too much. Let's pop those under. Maybe we could just lift you a little bit. See, like I'm just pulling it about. I'm being very gentle. Let's just lift you up a little bit. That's better. And then I'm just going to twist, get some Tombow under there, and just twist this tag on a slight angle so the back piece shows. Pull that back through. Over she goes. <clears throat> and then we've got a pretty card and a matching bottle of gin. No gin in a tin this week. We've advanced to a pretty bottle. So, yeah, you're right, Helen. It is. It's about inspiring each other, isn't it? So, I mean, what a sweet gift that would make. And these only cost about... I want to say £3.50, Sainsbury's do them. Um, what a nice gift. You know, and if you were looking for a, a, a simple gift for someone who maybe doesn't drink, you can buy the most beautiful bottles of like rose lemonade without gin in that you could do the same kind of thing. But how simple and how nice would it be just to gift, gift that to someone as it is going to roll away. I've got some other things to share with you. I didn't get to cut that out, did I? Um, we could put a bit of bling on that as well. Right, while we're looking at these colours, I'll show you what else I've done with this and then I'm going to show you the one that I hated. <laughs> I really didn't like it. Let's just move that to one side. And um, This is part of a sneak peek of a project that is coming... Um, next month i want to say yeah the colors are really fresh and pretty aren't they bell i love the colors too so i just did this little biscuit wrap um using the same thing i didn't feel the need to show this to you but again simple treats it's the belgian chocolate biscoffs simple packaging card and a treat just to show somebody that you care it doesn't have to be expensive um, but just how you can decorate the simplest of things I want to close these inks for just a minute because I'm going to be getting a couple of cards and things out and I can see something happening thank you all you like the projects I loved creating them. I could go on and on once I have like a colour combo and a stamp set in mind, I could just sit here all day crafting gorgeous colours, hey? Could just sit here crafting all day with those. Right, this is kind of a sneak peek of something that's coming, but it won't be in this colour. Um, but I've created this box and this is where I used the Kind and Sincere stamp set, this one. Um, it is a solid box. I've used these gorgeous papers. I just thought this was quite a nice like Galentine's gift and I've showed you what's inside before. Um, but we've got this very bougie chocolate spread, hazelnut chocolate spread, in this very sturdy box that I've designed. Um, I made it to fit this. Who's that coming in? Hi, Kathy. How are you doing? Thank you for joining us. 
NC, is that North Carolina? I'm just guessing. Thank you. Thank you for sharing too. That is very kind of you. So I've just created this box. It's very sturdy. It's double lined uh, around the lid edges. So we're going to be creating something using this box design at another class. Not in this design. I was just like on a flow and I thought I, I've sketched out all the measurements to create the box for this treat and then thought... Um, which is for a class next month, but thought I'm going to do it now and, and gift it as a Galentine's gift. So it's a really lovely, sturdy box. So just a little bit more to share on those colours. Oh, I was right. North Carolina. Well, I'm guessing it's good evening to you. What time would it be there? We are now 10 to 11 in the morning here in the UK. So what else have I got to show you? Right, class is coming up. Um, I've got my framed florets class coming up. That's Saturday. Oh, I'm just going to put my Mac on. My battery's going to go soon. Um, I want to say Saturday the 18th of February. So not this Saturday coming. Sorry, I'm just plugging in my power. Um, the one after. Here at the studio so we're doing some projects we've got three cards there's another card somewhere i think some projects with the framed florets bundle i've also got where is my fun fold class coming up next week things popping up on my screen um oh that's my measurements so I've got a fun folds class coming up here at the studio. That's coming up next Monday night, but also at the end of the month as well. I'm running that one twice so that there's a daytime option and an evening option for you to attend that. So um, that's what's coming up. And also I've got six cards. I've got three cards. I've got extra classes this month. Right, I'm going to show you what. I created that I didn't like. It's too dark and it's vanilla. So this is where, this is a much bigger bottle. This is um, a lovely bottle of cider. I don't drink cider, but I think Jason's had a different version of this. The labeling on here was just so inspiring. That's where my colors came from. So I went with Merry Merlot evening evergreen sweet sorbet and blushing bride blushing bride um and just created this bottle tag exactly the same i did team in some gold where i die cut the wordage out but after i did it and i did faff around trying to do a vanilla base on the card to brighten it up i just didn't love it i didn't love it enough to make it for you which is why I pulled out these colours and created that. So, yeah, you know, that's how things go with me. If if I'm not happy with something, I'm not going to share it because if I don't love it, my fear is you won't love it either. But, yeah, it does work. The colours work really well. It's such a beautiful label on here. And because everything on here was gold, that was why I teamed it with the gold. Um and I don't mind that so much. I think it's more too too much dark going on here. But like I said, I teamed it with the vanilla and I still didn't like it. So I'm not sure where I went wrong with it. But I think it's just because my brain loves white space and all things white. So I think that's where it kind of came from. Right, I'm going to love you and leave you. My voice is giving out on me. Um, getting a bit croaky. Need a coffee. Need to be refueled before I um, get down to some more work. So, no, they aren't my colours, are they? And I think that's kind of what it is. I do love Evening Evergreen. I do love the greens. And I do love Mary Merlot at Christmas. Um, with like cherry cob, not with cherry cobbler, with mossy meadow, but I think it's just too dark for me. Some of you may 
love it. It's just a bit dark for me. I'll stick with my white, my white space. That's my happy space, isn't it? So, yeah. Ellie, you're a Regals girl. Yeah, you'll like it. It could be coming your way then, maybe. <laughs> because um, if it's your colours, you might feel inspired by it. So, anyway, I'm going to love you all and leave you. Thank you so, so much for hopping by. I've had a lot of you join this morning. Um, if you're catching on the replay, please do drop me a message. It's always nice to know that who has been here um and if you're catching me on youtube please do hit the subscribe button um why is my macbook not charging hang on i haven't even plugged it in see that's where my head is at i plugged it into my mac but didn't actually turn on the plug on the wall so thank you helen you're so kind my lovelies right i am waiting for a delivery to come i'm hoping there's some brand new products in there that i get to play with um, that my team should be seeing in a week or two. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited. I'll be stalking, stalking for the UPS man to deliver. So we shall see. Watch this space. Right. Please take care, everybody, on your travels. Sending you all the hugs, especially those of you that are needing it more than others. Um, and please know that you are loved. And um, I thank you all for stopping by and sharing your morning with me so please take care and I'll be back with you all very very soon so bye for now